Hello everyone. It's very nice to be here again. Today we're talking about moving to standards in Spain. First of all, who I am. I'm Antonio Bertan, city of Trasipun. You can find us in our vault. Uh, and also, as you can see here, I'm European LTA co-chair, and here are my details. But first of all, he, who is who in that project? Because it's an amazing and a challenge that we have to resolve, and I will present us. First of all, Trasipun. As you, you know, we are a model premium partner. You can find, find there, and uh, they, they can explain better than me what we, what we do, what we are good on, and everything. Uh, then, what is EduTech Cluster? In the project, there, there is also EduTech Cluster. EduTech Cluster mainly is a cluster of companies, a number of companies and organizations that met together to do something better and to improve, in that case, the learning uh, of our students and teachers. And we create several things, and in that case, I will show you how we are uh, uh, facing that challenge that we have in that project. Then, who is One Tech? If anybody from the past you know what is IMS Global, probably you know from LTI. LTI you, you can find in external tools when you add any tool or activity. Right now the name is OneTech. OneTech is an organization that creates standards and that standard uh, tries to cover and improve the uh, integration between platforms. Uh, um, as you may know, QTI, OneRoster, LTI, a lot of the standards that create. Why the I, I want to take community? It's a not-profit consortium, owned by and driven by members. This is very important. We are part of a community, and all the community explain their problems. And there is a, a group on, uh, of experts that help us to find the solution, and also listen to us. And. There, as, as I said, this is a trusted, reliable, responsible, represents all the stakeholders, and currently 20, uh, covers 28 countries, around 900 members of organization, and has a global impact. But let's talk about our project. Our project is to move to a standard in Spain. Why were we facing that challenge? In 2022, we met here also in Barcelona with people from OneTech, also from people from cl uh, the cluster, and we are, were thinking, what happened? We are using something that only is specially from Spain, that I will take a little bit right now, and we want to change everything because it's not possible to use something that anybody has used less. Spain, probably South America as well, because the publishers send all the, their content also to South America, and then as a country, we want to transform the situation to the cluster in Spain and go and try to use international operated protocols, such in that case, LTI. Uh, but let's go to the past. And in 2009, here in Catalonia, um, there is a project that named Edu Educat 1 per 1, and they try to take off all the books and start to go all digital. Everything seems okay, but the publisher has a main concern. The main concern is how we can cover or avoid the problems of copies or, or access from users that are not authorized to that content. Then, to solve that, has been created a new a standard I put like a standard uh, in Spain, first begin in, Bas and in Catalonia and goes to Spain because the publisher has to connect through Mars, uh, a standard name Marsupial. Then each publisher are happy with that because they can control who are accents, uh, accessing our content, in that case books, and each school has to manage the keys to access for each student has to give their keys. And mainly, as you can see here on the right, it's a standard activity that you can select which is the level, so it's in Catalan, which is the, the book, 
which is the unit and the activity. This is when you're thinking about it's strange because probably LTI can help on that. Marsupial uh, allowed to de define which are the publishers that has been allowed to that school. Also define the text structure um, between levels, unities, units, and activities. Allows SSL and return grades. Are using uh, XML as a format. We are in the past. Then uh, around more or less the same year in 2010. Dr. Chuck Severance uh, started basic LTI. Uh, we work with Open University of Catalonia and he came to Open University of Catalonia and show how uh, what are the things are doing at, at that moment. We show it also that we integrate Moodle and Sakai in that moment with uh, external tools like WordPress and LTI and uh, MediaWiki using or another exander named Okiyosit. Uh, and he said, well, I can transform that on LTI. Next morning, he come back and he showed me. This is the integration, I think it's uh, in WordPress or MediaWiki. I did that integration based on my code. And I think, oh yeah, we can do it also in WordPress. And we did the same for WordPress in the same day, in the next day, okay? Then, as you can see, mainly use the features that Marsupial give us is the same that LTI, but we are still in the past. Then we have LTI as a plugin that supports LTI 1.1 and LTI 1.3, and LTI is certified. As you, you may know, OneEgTech uh, allows to certify the products, and if you have anything certified, you has the guarantee that that product works for one LMS, another LMS, or work with all the tools that has been certified in the same um, in, in the same standard. And then we are focused on LTI 1.3 because LTI 1.1 was deprecated, but I know there is a lot of content still on LTI 1.1, but has to be migrated uh, step by step, and they are working on that. And then we focus on LTI 1.3. The main features that cover the LTI advantage are the, the core, the, mainly the authentication and the access to the content, deep linking that allows to select which is the content that I want to add to my course. As you can see before, we have some selectors on Marsupial. You can do it the same using that service. Assignment and great services. I can get all the roster of my course. I, sorry, uh, the, I, I can return the grades, and also there is some services related with that. Names and roles service uh, allows to get the roster of the course, which are the, the students and the teacher, and also dynamic registration allows to integrate easily the, the registration of LTI or any tool, because uh, you have to share several URLs, where is the public key, so on, and with dynamic registration, it's like, Wizard assistant that help you to do it, everything with one click. Uh, if we put here the difference, mainly when I started Marsupial, it's at the front of the to the wall, it's not the GDPR, and has an old technology. LTI is a standard, is GDPR compliant with an extension that also we are looking for to implement in Moodle. Uh, the name is that the privacy launch that allows to get the information from a tool that has support that extension. Secure, evolve, as you may know, we are in 1.3 and right now are working on several extensions that had a public, uh, its final candidate mainly uh, has to be uh, implemented in two tools and two applications to has to be open and finish all of them, and probably hasn't need any development, and you can change from one provider to another provider without any problem. Here we have more uh, in detail each one, but I want to focus on the license because currently doesn't support that service, the license management. And it's something that 
our publishers are concerned about it. Then, with that uh, steps in mind, we have to follow or fly, fly, find which is the solution. Uh, we create a consortium in EduTech cluster. Then, in that consortium, we want to create a new extension and name it as an entertainment service that allows to create the, or manage the licenses. We are working on a tool to convert the content from marsupial to LTI conversion, okay? Here, we have some screenshots that we are working right now. For each publisher, we can see which is the content that is, uh, has been converted to LTI. We'll, uh, there is like an assistant that, or wizard that help you to do all the steps to go for all, all LTI information. Also, also we are wor we will working on workshops to help people to understand what is LTI 1.3 and adopt that integration to all the publishers that are in our construction plus anybody who we want to join us. This is, will be done during the next year. We are planning to integrate the extension with OneTech. We share in the past, but right now we are reviewing and also working with some people from when I take an LTI group. And regarding project funding, because everything we have to pay that, we have our funds from our private company plus public uh, funding. And uh, regarding the methodology, we are using the typical use cases with some work packages. Uh, we start to work with the use cases to license management. Here we get 31 licenses. This is Spanish. I'm sorry for that. The Google and Cloud Room and Microsoft Teams, this is another work group that are working on that to try to push them to use or to use always as LTI. I know um, uh, Microsoft Teams are aligned, but Google Cloud Room are not aligned to LTI. Uh, you can't launch directly what a content like uh, the, uh, an external tool like we are doing in Moodle. But we try to push from one tech here to Google and Microsoft. This is a, another group where uh, they are working on that. But we are focused on the license management. But for the reason, we create a new extension. This is the first mainly approach. Uh, they are when, when the user register or when you register a content, in that content, in the deep linking flow, we will return, which is the URL of <coughs> the entitlement store. And then when this entitlement store will be an OLTI 1.3 that has to be passed before. Okay. And also deep linking service, uh, if you don't know, this is very, it's, I think it's impressive because allows to sync the content from the tool to the LMS, for instance, the typical thing, I, I delete a content in my tool, external tool, but the link is still, uh, is alive in, uh, in Moodle because pointing to that tool. That service allows that, it's in final candidate, I think so. And to manage the licenses, we are planning, we can do it with blockchain, could be interesting, but this is one of the stores that we can have it. I think I'm running out of time. And there's any question, I think I don't have time, but I have to say thank you to the cluster and my team.